Amen. Thank you. We can take our seats. Ascendent to us a kuketi. Amen. Amen. Uh, we thank God for this evening. Namshukuru Mungu kwa usiku huu. It's a powerful evening. Ni usiku wenye nguvu. God has blessed us this week. Mungu ametubariki katika juma hili. And I'm happy to see you again. Na ninayo furaha kuona eh, tena. Especially this month of elevation. Sana sana katika huu mwezi wa kuinuliwa. Thank you brother Mamu for leading us. Asande eh, ndugu Mamu kwa kutuongoza in the prayer items katika yale vipenge vya maombi i want us to go straight for around 30 minutes basi ningependa twende moja kwa moja kwa kipindi cha dakika 30 i share on our follow up a topic on uh, the principles of elevation nishiriki kwa kile kicho chetu cha kanuni za kuinuliwa we did some few Tulifanya chache and we continued last Sunday na tuliendelea Jumapili iliyopita and today we are seeing some other one or two na leo hii tutaangalia moja ama mbili the first one was a burning desire for elevation ya kwanza ilikuwa matamanio yaliyoshika moto kwa kuinuliwa when you have a burning desire ukiwa na tamanio ambalo limeshika moto you shall be elevated utainuliwa then there was a principle of breaking limitations. Na pia kulikuwa na konuni ya kuvunja vizuizi like Jabez. E, kama ya Besi. E, he got a revelation. Alipata maono and he applied this principle. Na akafanyisha kazi kanuni hiyo and he was free, he was elevated. Naye akawa huru akainuliwa. On Sunday we looked at the third one. Jumapili tukaangalia ile ya tatu the principle of honor kanuni ya heshima and we really dwelt on that for some time na hakika tulikaa kwa hiyo kwa muda now number 4 is the principle of kingdom service sasa ya inne ni utumishi wa ufalme if anybody is seeking elevation kama kuna mtu ambaye anatafuta kuinuliwa they have to understand this concept wanastahili kuelewa dhana hii father in the name of jesus baba kwa jina la yesu we thank you for the teaching tonight tunakushukuru kwa mafundisho ya jioni we desire elevation tunatamani kuinuliwa the church desires elevation kanisa latamani kuinuliwa the women desire elevation wanawake wanatamani the kuinuliwa men desire elevation wanaume wanatamani kuinuliwa the pastors and the children desire elevation wachungaji na watoto wanatamani kuinuliwa father we ask you to elevate somebody baba tunakuuliza ukamuinua let this word trigger Wacha neno hili likachokoze or elevation in somebody kuinuliwa ndani ya mtu use me again tonight for your glory nitumie mimi tena usiku wa leo kwa utukufu wako in jesus name i pray kwa jina la yesu nimeomba somebody say amen mtu aseme amina so the principle of kingdom service kwa hivyo kanuni ya utumishi wa ufalme when we talk about kingdom service tunapoongea kuhusu utumishi wa ufalme we are talking about involved in advancing the kingdom tunaongea kuhusu kuhusishwa katika kuendeleza ufalme you get involved yourself unapata kuhusika wewe mwenyewe to advance the kingdom e, ili kuendeleza ufalme every week and every day kila juma na kila siku we need to keep on asking ourselves tunahitaji kuendelea kujiuliza wenyewe what have we done tumefanya nini to advance the kingdom kuendeleza ufalme the eyes of the lord are on those who desire and actually act to advance the kingdom macho ya bwana yamekaziwa juu ya wale ambao wamejitolea kuendeleza ufalme when you are that type e, kama wewe ni wa aina hiyo i want you to be assured nataka upate uhakikisho the lord is going to see you bwana mungu atakuona we made a prayer tonight tumefanya ombi usiku wa leo that lord put me somewhere where i can be seen ya kwamba bwana niweke mahali ambapo naweza kuonekana and one area of positioning Nas is when you position yourself to serve 
na sehemu moja ya kuwe kujiweka wewe katika nafasi ni wakati umejiweka na katika nafasi ya kutumika and i think i have really talked about exodus 23:25 na nafikiria nimeongea sana kuhusu kutoka sura 23:25 ah uh, the bible talks about those who serve the lord kjv Biblia inaongea kuhusu wale ambao wanamtumikia Bwana Biblia KJV And ye shall serve the Lord your God and he shall bless thy bread and thy water and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee Nanyi mtamtumikia Bwana Mungu wenu Naye atakibarikia chakula chako na maji yako nami nitakuondolea ugonjwa kati yako. I don't know whether you believe that this can happen. Sijui kama unaamini ya kwamba hii inaweza kutendeka. If you believe it can you say amen? Kama unaiamini sema amina. Serving the Lord is kingdom service. Kumtumikia Bwana ni utumishi wa ufalme. Actually in Matthew 6:33 When we talk about serving the Lord I, I mean seeking the Lord we are meaning serve the Lord. Hakika Mathayo 6 mstari wa 33 tunapoongea kuhusu kumtumikia Bwana ama kutulia kwa Bwana inaongea kuhusu utumishi wa ufalme. So Exodus 23:25. Kwa hivyo kutoka sura 23:25 When you serve him unapomtumikia he will bless thy bread atabarikia chakula chako and thy water na maji yako and take sickness away from the midst of thee na ataondoa ugonjwa kati yako i pray, i pray for you tonight ninakuombea jioni ya leo may sickness never be your portion ugonjwa usiwahi kuwa sehemu yako in the mighty name of the lord kwa jina kuu la bwana when we talk about taking sickness away it means healing tunapoongea kuhusu eh, kutoa ugonjwa kati yako inamaanisha ni uponyaji and the earth is part of elevation na afya ni sehemu ya kuinuliwa may you receive it in jesus name na ukaipokee kwa jina la yesu 26 msari wa 26 the bible says biblia inasema there shall nothing cast their young na hapata kuwa na mwenye kuharibu mimba when we talk about miscarriage tunapoongea kuhusu kuharibu mimba it includes dreams ni pamoja na ndoto a vision maono this year of resounding the vision katika mwaka huu wa kurejelea maono i pray that nobody associated with us naomba ili pasiwe na yote ambao anahusiana na us to have an aborted vision atapata maono ambayo yameafya even when it looks like it has aborted hata kama itaonekana kama imeafya serving the lord kama wewe unamtumikia bwana the vision is going to thrive Maono yale yatafanikiwa. May it happen in your life in Jesus name. Ikafanyike katika maisha yako kwa jina la Yesu. Nor be barren. Hakuna kuwa tasa. In the Old Testament this was a curse. Katika agano la kale hii ilikuwa ni laana. Today we compare it with unfruitfulness. Leo hii tunailinganisha na kutopata mazao. Elevation means you are bearing fruit. Kuinuliwa inamaanisha unapata mazao. Amen. Amen. May your life be full of fruitfulness. Maisha yako yakajawe na kuzaa matunda. Tonight as you pray. Usiku wa leo unapoomba. Pray that you may be productive. Omba ili ukawe na matokeo. This ministry is going to be productive. Huduma huu utakuwa unazaa matunda. The men shall be productive. Wanaume watakuwa wanazaa matunda. Stagnation is not your portion. Ukwama sio sehemu yako. And the number of thy days will I fulfill. Na hesabu ya siku zako nitaitimiza. Amen. Amen. May the number of your days be fulfilled. Na hesabu ya siku zako ikatimizwe. In the mighty name of the Lord. Kwa jina kuu la Bwana. That is about service. Sasa hii ni kuhusu utumishi. All these are 
enumerated benefits of service haya yote ni faida ambazo zimeorodheshwa za kutumia za utumishi when you serve god unapomtumikia bwana you are touching other people unawaguza watu wengine can somebody say amen mtu naweza kusema amina desire to touch people matamanio ya kunguza watu wengine i want you to desire that ningependa utamani hiyo that through you other people will be transformed ya kwamba kupitia kwako watu wengine watabandilishwa so whatever you are and finds to do do it to change lives kwa hivyo chochote mkono wako upatao kufanya ukafanya ubandilishe maisha watu wengine especially reaching out to others sana sana kuwafikia wengine in the month of may there is a movement through the church katika mwezi wa may kuta, uh, kuna utembezi katika kanisa that every day of may ya kwamba kila siku ya mwezi wa may every serious member kila muumini ambaye ni wa kumaanisha this should be put in the announcement na hii ya sahihi kuwekwa kwenye matangazo will be reaching two people per day tutakuwa tunafikia watu wawili kila siku every serious member kila muumini ama mshirika ambaye ni wa kumaanisha people per day watu wawili kila siku kezo when you go back to mangu school kezo ni kurudi kule shule ya mangu pray for two boys every day to get saved Ombe wavulana wawili kila siku waokoke. Out of the schedule. E, kutoka kwa ili zile shughuli zako nyingi. Pastor Steve you teach pray for two people. Mimi ninafundisha nitawaombea watu wawili. Pray for two parents who come to see you. Niombe wazazi wawili ambao watakuja kuniona. Let us stand every meeting a place of evangelism. Wacheni tubanilishe kila mkutano wa watu huwe ni mahali pa kuhubiri njini. That is why we pray na hii ndiyo sababu tunaomba. Otherwise we pray to teach to touch people. Na ndiyo tunaomba ili tuguze watu. And when you began teaching other people. Na ukianza kuwafundisha watu wengine. When you begin to touch them. Ukianza kuwaguza watu wengine. The Lord sees what you are doing. Bwana Mungu anaona vile unafanya. And the Bible says those who bring others to Christ will shine like a morning star. Na Biblia inasema wale ambao wanawaleta wengine kwa Kristo watangaa kama nyota ya asubuhi. If you google that as is in Daniel. Ukitafuta huo msari utapata mahali katika kitabu cha Daniel. So in the month of May. Kwa hivyo katika mwezi wa May, the archbishop was, was telling us to to just pray for people to get saved. Askofu mkuu alikuwa anatuombea na tuambia na tuombea tu watu waokoke. You meet people you are a watchman at the gate. Unakutana na watu pale wewe ni mlinda wa mlaa wa lango. Pray for everybody to get saved. Muombee kila mtu aokoke. And I believe that month there shall be a transformation. Na naamini ya kwamba katika mwezi huu kutakuwa na mabadiliko. Amen. Amen. So touching others. Kwa hivyo kuunguza wengine some few benefits. E faida kadhaa. I attended a, a, a congregation meeting here at Full Gospel Churches today. Ni lihudhuria mkutano wa kuweka wakfu katika kanisa la Full Gospel. The speaker was talking about benefits of serving the Lord. Hubiri alikuwa anaongea faida za kumtumikia Mungu. But this ones I recorded the day before and Na, I think they are different. No, I recorded them last week. They are a bit different. Lakini hizi niliziandika juma eh, juma iliyopita kwa hivyo zenyewe ni tofauti. Number one, ya kwanza serving the Lord connects you to other people. Kumtumikia Mungu kuna kuunganisha na watu wengine. Peter Mamu said we need people. Peter Mamu alisema kwamba tunawahitaji watu. As you get involved in kingdom service. Unapohusika katika utumishi wa ufalme The Lord will connect you to other people. Bwana Mungu atakuunganisha na watu wengine. Musa Oteos me when he served me he, he met some widows eh, some some windows some doors eh, when I was building sometimes back. Eh Musa akaniambia wakati aliunganika nami alikuwa anatengeneza madirisha alikuwa anatengeneza milango apo awali. And, and Musao thank you for coming. We normally miss you in this case. I appreciate Musao everybody. Na Musao tunakukosa katika mkesha wa Sunday kwa kuja. Eh uh, whisper to him never to miss another one. Basi msemee msimulize ili asikose nyingine. Judy you can communicate to him. Judy unaweza kusemezana na yeye. Now after he worked for me. 
basi baada ya kumfanyia kazi although i paid him i believe he was serving the man of god hata ingawa nilimlipa naamini kwamba alikuwa anamtumikia mtumishi wa Mungu he was connected to so many other people yeye aliunganika na watu wengine wengi that is how he met pastor mano hivyo ndivyo aliweza kukutana na mchungaji mano that is how uh, Raphael came to see what he was doing and they did it for him. Vile vile tena pia Raphael akaja kumuona na akamfanyia vile alinifanyia to see what he was doing there. Oh, kuona kile alikuwa anafanya pale. Actually I would find people there trying to check the the, the metal work. Hakika nilipatana watu pale wakijaribu kuangalia ile kazi iliyotengenezwa ya vyuma and he got connected. Na akapata kuunganika. He, he, even uh, he went actually to Kaskeo boys and they did the entire building hata akaenda kule Kaskeo uh, uh, shule ya Kaskeo ya upili na akafanya ule mjengo wote when you serve the lord unapomtumikia bwana he connects you with other people anakuunganisha na watu wengine because we are online i don't want to give details kwa sababu tuko katika mtandao sita kupatiana utondoti wa vitu but pastor mano tells me some senior officers lakini mchungaji Mano ananiambia maafisa wengine ambao ni wakuu he is called when the say the archbishop is with he is called yeye you know, anaitwa such a connection sasa muunganiko wa aina hiyo and this this time of elevation na wakati huu wa kuenuliwa some of you receive calls baadhi yenu mtapokea kupigiwa simu i want you to believe this word of prophecy ningependa muamini neno hili la kiunabii it is not in my notes it has been dropped in me haipo katika shajara yangu lakini imeangushwa ndani yangu some people here will receive calls watu wengine hapa watapokea kupigiwa simu to bring a connection bazo zinataleta kuunganika that is going to transform your destiny bako kutabanisha hatima yako in the mighty name of the lord kwa jina kuu la bwana actually i have written added in red that these people will be your destiny helpers hakika hapa nimeandika kwa uh, wino ambao ni nyekundu ya kwamba watu hawa watafanyika wasaidizi wako wa hatima the people is connecting you to wale watu ambao wanakungane wanaunganika nawe many years back around 18 years miaka mingi iliyopita kama miaka 18 i wanted to move from where i was nilikuwa nataka kuhama kutoka mahali nilikuwa and a certain uh, family lost a father in kilungu somewhere there na familia nyingine wakampoteza baba yao kule maeneo ya kilungu and i remember one week na nakumbuka wiki moja i was coming from this place called wamunyu i was coming i came twice in a week Nilikuwa natoka maeneo hayo mahali ambapo kuna hicho wamunyo nilikuwa natoka huko mara mbili katika wiki. Where was I coming? Kwa nini nilikuwa nakuja? To come and pray with the family. Nije kuomba na familia together with my wife. Pamoja na mke wangu and then give in preparation for the burial. Na nitoe kwa kuandaa yale mazishi. There was a certain gentleman who was on leave that time and he, they were around. Kulikuwa na kijana mwingine ambaye alikuwa leave na hivyo basi walikuwa kaapo karibu. That is how I connected to that person. Hivyo ndivyo niliunganika na huyo mtu because I was coming to serve. Kwa sababu nilikuwa nakuja kutumika when they wanted somebody near here. Walipohitaji mtu kutoka hapa karibu because he was in a position. Kwa sababu alikuwa katika huo uwezo. He called me. Akaniita and I came. Na nikaja. The same year we opened this church. Mwaka ule ule tulifungua kanisa hili. Because I was near here. Kwa sababu nilikuwa hapa karibu. How did I connect? Niliunganika namna gani? When I was serving other people. Nilipokuwa na watumikia watu wengine. And I tell you coming at fa- at six in the evening. Na niwaambia kuingia kutoka saa kumi na mbili zijioni. By 7:30 I'm in Wamunyu and then I come again. Na saa moja na nusu nimefika Wamunyu na narudi tena. To come again over the weekend. Na ninakuja tena katika weekend. When you are serving unapotumika maybe there is something you are struggling with labda kuna kitu ambacho unangangana nacho as you continue to serve unapoendelea na kutumika i want to give you an assurance nataka kupatia uhakikisho god is going to connect you to destiny helpers mungu atakuunganisha na wasaidizi wa hatima never be tired usiwai choka 
Sometimes we go to places. Wakati mwingi tunaenda mahali and I hear somebody say I have really learned a lot from here. Na nasikia mtu akisema hakika nimesoma mengi kutoka hapa. Especially in kingdom service. Sana sana katika utumishi wa ufalme. May the Lord connect you to your helpers in Jesus name. Bwana Mungu akuunganishe na wasaidizi wako kwa jina la Yesu. Let's I talk now I know everybody seated here required a helper in a particular area. Hakika ninapoongea sasa hivi wale watu ambao wameketi pale mnahitaji mtu wa kuwasaidia katika eneo fulani. And I pray for you. Na ninakuombea that your helper may come in Jesus name. Ya kwamba msaidizi wako akaje kwa jina la Yesu. The secret is serving the Lord. Siri ni kumtumikia Bwana. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Mtu aweze kupasa sauti aseme hallelujah. Brother may your help come in Jesus name. Ndugu na msaidizi wako haje kwa jina la Yesu. In Jesus mighty name. Kwa jina kuu la Yesu. Somebody say amen. Mtu akaseme amina. Number 2 or number B of that. Ya pili ama ya ba kwa hiyo you discover your spiritual gifts. Unatambua vile vipawa vyako vya kiroho. That is very important. Hiyo ni ya muhimu. When you are serving the Lord. Unapomtumikia Bwana. That is when you know that you are gifted in a particular area. Hivyo ndivyo unajua ya kwamba umepewa kipawa katika eneo fulani. That is how Stella Raphael knows that she can now help the needy. Hivi ndivyo Stella Raphael anajua ya kwamba anaweza kuwasaidia wenye mahitaji. That is how Mzungu I'm forgetting the other name knows that he can sing. Hivyo ndivyo msawa anaweza kufahamu ya kwamba anaweza kuimba. That is how Moses knows he can connect the instruments. Hivyo ndivyo Moses anafahamu ya kwamba anaweza kuunganisha vyombo. You get to know you are talent. Unajifahamu ya kwamba umepewa talanda. I believe before Emmanuel came he was not in media. Najua kwamba kabla Emmanuel kuingia hapa hakuwa ameingia katika media. As he continue to serve. Lakini alipoendelea na kutumika. He realized he can do it. Akatambua ya kwamba anaweza kuifanya. Today Jean is taking this video. Leo hii Jean ndiye anachukua hii video. Yeah, this was a girl in school she never knew this. Siku ile nyingine alikuwa tu mwanafunzi wa shule akujua hiyo. Look for something to do for the Lord. Tafuta kitu cha kumfanyia Bwana and advance the kingdom. Na uendeleze ufalme. You are going to be elevated. Utainuliwa. And this is in diversity we can do diverse things. Na hii ni kupitia mambo mengi unaweza ufanya mambo mengi. If I'm in a position and I see that chairs here. Kama niko katika nafasi ya nafasi fulani naona viti ambavyo viko na uchafu I will take that disinfect I will wash them Nitachukua hicho kitambaa na nioshe Nitange ndacho I will wash them Nitachukua hiyo kemiko na nioshe If I see dusty you know uh, speaker covers like some of them here Nikiona vile famba vinafunika hii speakers ambavyo viko na vumbi hapa I will take that dust remover and remove them. Nitachukua hicho kifaa cha kuondoa vumbi na niitoe. You can serve anywhere. Unaweza kutumika mahali popote. Maybe nobody came today to to check the toilets for example. I am not haku, there. Hakuna mtu ambaye alikuja na kwenda chooni akaangalia hali zake. Sijana pa. serve the Lord connect you. Unapotumika Bwana Mungu atakuunganisha. And you discover your spiritual gifts. Na utambue vipawa vyako vya kiroho and operate in them. Na ufanye kazi ndani yake. Sometimes I get what I call word of knowledge. Wakati mwingine napata neno la maarifa ama neno la ufahamu. Initially and sometimes I get it and I don't talk about it. Awali nilikuwa naipata lakini nakosa kuongea kuhusu. Even now sometimes I get it and I don't. Hata siku hizi naipata lakini nakosa kuongea kuhusu. Before I knew kabla sijajua I was not very sure. E, Sikuwa na uhakika. But I began to have revelations. Lakini kaanza kupata maufunuo. When I'm seated there when I even I'm talking like this. Nikiwa nimeketi pale nikiwa naongea vile inaongea. When we are praying, tukiwa tunaomba and it was through involvement. Na ilikuwa uh, uh, juu ya kuji kujishirikisha. I never knew whether I can pray for people to receive the Holy Spirit. Sikujua kwamba naweza kuombea watu na wapokee Roho Mtakatifu. Until one day we were going for a mission at a school called Itetan when I was in college. Mpaka siku moja ikafika tukiwa tukao tunaenda kuhubiri katika shule inaitwa Itetan wakati nilikuwa chuoni. I myself for that weekend challenge. 
nikajiavail for that weekend challenge hivyo basi nikawa nipo katika hiyo weekend challenge and they had some tracks written by bishop peter sila then na nilikuwa na vijikaratasi ambavyo vilikuwa vimeandikwa na Reverend Sila kwati ule. He is now Bishop Sila. Sasa hivi ni askofu Sila. When I read how to be filled through those scripts. Niliposoma njinzi ya kujazwa na roho eh, kutoka hivyo vikaratasi. They told me that evening to preach about infilling. Wakaniambia nihubiri kuhusu kujazwa na roho usiku ule. As I was serving the Lord. Nilipokuwa namtumikia Bwana. I but when I lay hands on people nikatambua ninapowekelea watu mikono they receive the holy spirit wanapokea roho mtakatifu and i began to do it na nikaanza kufanya up to today mpaka wa leo you will discover your gift unatambua kipawa chako that is how joseph hivyo ndivyo yusufu discovered himself alijitambua yeye mwenyewe people brought dreams watu wakamletea ndoto and through interpretation of dreams na kupata, kupitia ufasiri wa ndoto he was elevated yeye akainuliwa may the lord elevate you bwana mungu akuinue as you continue to serve unapoendelea kutumika number c ya cha it grants you rewards inakupatia zawadi when you serve you will receive rewards unapotumika unapokea zawadi and we don't have to go through we don't have to go through the long list of Exodus 23:25 na tuhitaji kwenda kwa hiyo orodha ya kutoka 23 25 those are the rewards sasa hayo hizo ndizo zawadi including long life pamoja na maisha marefu if you want to live long kama unataka kukaa maisha marefu do not relax wewe usitulie chances are that 80% of people who were zealous before relax e nafa ni kwamba asilimia ya hamsini ya watu ambao wale umesema hamsini i said 80% e asilimia themanini ya watu ambao walijaribu walitulia those who were zealous wale ambao walikuwa na shauku kuu they were doing everything walikuwa nafanya kila kitu they were active walikuwa watenda kazi they were coming early walikuwa wanaingia mapema they never missed these meetings hawakukosa mikutano hii you knew their corner ulijua mwito wao ama pembe yao yeah pembe yao you know when we come to pray you knew unajua tukija kuomba ulijua but the devil knows that when you continue like that lakini shetani anajua ukiendelea hivyo you are going to be rewarded wewe utazawadiwa he tells you to relax anakuambia wewe pumzika he kind of shows you that uh, you cannot keep up with that zeal anakuonyesha kwamba uwezo ukaendelea na shauku hiyo kubwa and then you relax and you lose your elevation na basi unatulia na unapoteza kuinuliwa kwako continuous and a consistent service e utumishi wa kufuatiliza na kuendeleza prayer is service maombi ni utumishi because when we pray sababu tunapoomba if we have one hour of prayer kama tuna saa moja ya maombi 45 minutes sana dakika 45 it can be broken into many areas including praying for the women in the church for the country praying for our county you know such things we can pray and serve other people naweza kuvunjwa katika vipengele tofauti tofauti kama kuombea nchi kuombea taifa kuombea takauti there are rewards kwa hivyo kuna zawadi normally before you come for a kesha kwa kawaida eh, kabla huja kuja katika mkesha there is a lot of resistance eh kuna kuupinzani sana you start yawning unaanza kupiga eh, mi, eh? You, you, you start feeling tired. Unaanza kuhisi umechoka. It's like the devil is telling you you cannot manage today. Ni kama shetani anakufahamisha kwamba wewe utaweza leo. He is taking away your rewards. Anaondoa zawadi zako. That is when you raise up. Hivyo ndivyo unainua. And fight the flesh. Unainuka na unapigana na mwili. And come to the house of the Lord. Na unakuja katika nyumba ya Bwana. That is how we win. Hivyo ndivyo unashinda. The spirit is willing the body is weak. Roho anatamani lakini mwili unakataa. But we can overcome that. Lakini tunaweza kushinda gumu. Somebody say amen. Mtu aseme amina. Number 4, ama D, you understand God's character. Ya da unaelewa tabia za Mungu. 
you have to reach a level where you get to know God. Utakubidi ukafika kiwango umfahamu Mungu. The character of God. Kile tabia yake Mungu. And I can sample those who are sitting in front here. Na naweza kufanyia hesabu wale ambao wameketi hapa mbele. Pastor Afia, one character of God he is what? Chungaji Afia, tabia yes. moja, sifa moja ya Mungu ni he is God Almighty. Yeye ni Mungu mwenye nguvu. Actually we can say you are powerful. Hakika ni mwenye nguvu zote. Pastor Mano. Chungaji Mano. A loving God. Mungu anayependa. You can never know him unless you are serving. Uwezi ukamjua unless you are serving. Paka wewe unafanya mnamtumikia. You hear those characteristics. Unasikia hizo sifa. Eh? Has a dangerous. Zake ni zakutisha. Ameenda the other side. A jealous God. Mungu mwenye wivu. And then a consuming fire. Na moto ulao. I fear those summons. Mimi na ogopa maujumbe kama hai. If somebody says today I am talking of God as a consuming fire. Sasa mtu waseme ya kwamba leo ni taubiri kuhusu mungu. I can't wait for that topic. Siwezi ni kangojia kichonichi. Because I know you can easily be consumed. Kwa sana unajua unaweza kula kukumme. Kulaza na moto haraka. When does he become jealous? Yeye anafanyika mwenye wivu lini. When you are making other things a priority more than he is. Unapo ofanya vitu vingine kuwa kipa umbele kumliko yeye. He becomes jealous. Yeye anafanyika mwenye wivu. Those guys here who are married. Wale watu wa pamba wa meoana. Like Moses. Kama Moses. Moses make a mistake. Moses fanya makosa of prioritizing other ladies. Ya kuwaweka wanawake wengine msari wa mbele. You won't believe whether she is the one who, who makes duru here. You you won't believe it. <laughs> Hutaamini ya kwamba ni yule ambaye anapiga zile keleza na ukemi wa wa furaha. Utaonana kule nyumbani. Eh. She has to be the priority. Lazima awe kipa mbele. God is God is more than a wife. Mungu yuko zaidi ya mke. Amen. Amen. As a married man you cannot go telling every other lady openly you are very smart you are very beautiful and she is there listen you are going to have trouble Kama mwanaume ambaye ameoa huwezi kwenda kuambia mwanamke mwingine hakika wewe ni maridadi sawa mnamvalia mavazi mazuri She is now telling me to stop that topic Sasa ananiambia niache mada hii I know want to go to you understand the character of God Sasa nataka kwenda kwa e, zile sifa za Mungu Now Miriam another Sasa character sifa nyingine a forgiving god Mungu ambaye anasamehe that is consoling Sasa hiyo ni ya kutuliza you can be forgiven Unaweza kusamehewa after being consumed you shall be forgiven baada sasa ya kuchomwa na moto unaweza kusamehewa Amen Amen Moses do you remember another character of god he is faithful Yeye ni mwaminifu what he says he will do vile amesema atafanya but you can only understand these things lakini unaweza kuelewa mambo haya if you are serving him kama mnatumika and it is natural na ni ya kiasili whoever serves me knows me better than the person who is far away yeyote ambaye anatumikia ananijua wazi zaidi na vizuri kuliko yule ambaye yuko mbali the closest person yule mtu wa karibu sana is now my wife. Sasa ni mke wangu. She knows my character better. Anajua sifa zangu sana. Some of you think that I'm very good. Baadhi yenu wanajua ya kwamba mimi ni mtu mwema mzuri. But she knows better. Lakini ananijua bora. She knows when I change. Anajua wakati nabadilika. Because she is serving me closely. Kwa sababu ananitumikia kwa ukaribu. And not only in the house na sio tu peke yake kwa nyumba another service you over to somebody you understand them better hata utumishi ule mwingine unampa mtu unawaelewa bora zaidi you understand the character of god unazielewa zile sifa ama tabia za mungu pastor steve another character eh of god eh tabia nyingine ama sifa nyingine ya mungu you are the one now to give it sasa ni mimi natoa mungu yuko kila mahali yeah. eh. omnipresent is everywhere so there is no corner kwa hivyo hakuna pembe there is no hiding place hakuna mahali pa kujificha there is no dark place hakuna mahali penye giza where god is not there 
Pale ambapo Mungu hayupo. That is also scary. Sasa hiyo tena pia ni ya kutishia. Yes, you serve him. Unapomtumikia. He is everywhere to rescue you. Yuko kila maeneo ya kusaidia. He angels. E kutumba malaika. He can also see when you are not right. Anaweza tena pia kuona wakati hawendi sawa. That is God. Sasa huyo ndiye Mungu. Number E the last one. Ya hii na ndiye ya mwisho you understand your purpose. Unaelewa ile kusudi lako and fulfill it. Na kuitimiza. That is the most powerful thing. Sasa hicho ndicho kitu chenye nguvu zaidi. Understand your purpose. Unaelewa na kusudi lako and fulfill it. Na kuitimiza. We can understand that one through Ephesians 2:10. Naweza kuelewa hiyo zaidi kupitia waefeso mbili msari wa kumi Look at what it says. Angalia vile inasema. For we are his workmanship. Sababu sisi ni kazi ya mikono yake. Now that one alone is, is so powerful. Sasa hiyo peke yake ni yenye nguvu sana. You, you get to know your purpose. Unapata kujua lengo lako. Why do I exist? Kwa nini mimi ninaishi? When you serve him you understand your purpose. Unapomtumikia unaelewa kusudi lako. Can I say that when you were created? Niweze kusema wakati ulipoumbwa uh, God created you for a purpose. Mungu alikuumba kwa kusudi. So one you are the workmanship of God. Kwa hivyo ya kwanza ukiwa wewe ni kazi ya mikono ya Mungu created in Christ Jesus unto good works. Uliyeumbwa ndani ya Kristo Yesu utende matendo mema. Now, look, look at this explanation. Angalia maelezo hayo. To do what? Ufanye nini? Good works. Utende matendo mema. That is kingdom service. Sasa huu ni utumishi wa ufalme. Which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. Ambayo tokeo au atokea awali Mungu aliyatengeneza ili tuenende nayo. The good works. Yale matendo mema. Now this is a a teaching for a whole service. Sasa hayo ni mafundisho ya ibada nzima. That we are God's workmanship. Ya kwamba sisi ni kazi ya mikono yake. We came out of his hands. Tulitoka kwenye mikono yake. And we were created for good works. Na tuliumbwa kwa matendo mema which God ordained before. Ambayo Mungu aliweka aliyatoa hapo awali that we may walk in them ili tukaweze kuenenda ndani yake maybe theologians can help us now to know labda wana theolojia wanaweza kusaidia tuelewe zaidi how comes that some people never in their life walk in these good works inawezekanaji watu wengine katika maisha yao hawajatembea katika hizi kazi njema that is a serious secret sasa hii ni siri ya kumaanisha but those who are privileged to serve lakini wale ambao wameonelewa wema wa kutumika I can confirm to you that you will understand your purpose. Naweza kuadhibitishia kwamba mtaelewa mtajua kusudi lenu. And I said you understand your purpose and fulfill it. Na nimesema kwamba uelewe kusudi lako na ulitimize. And this matter requires prayer. Na jambo hili linahitaji maombi. May God help us to understand our purpose. Bwana Mungu atusaidie tuelewe kusudi letu and fulfill it in the name of the Lord. Na kulitimiza kwa jina la Yesu. Could we be doing something that is not in our purpose? Inawezekana tunawea tunaweza kuwa tunafanya jambo ambalo haliko katika kusudi letu. We really have to pray. Hakika twasaili kuomba so that we may accomplish the purpose of God. Ili tukaweze kulitimiza kusudi la Mungu because we are the workmanship of God. Kwa sababu sisi ni kazi yake created in Christ. Ambao tumeumbwa ndani ya Kristo Yesu unto is good wa unto good works. Eh tutende matendo mema. Can I see him? Amplified of this Emmanuel. Naweza kuona amplified ya msari huu. This verse has struck more even than when I was preparing this. Msari huu umeniguza sana saidi ya vile ilimuguza kwa mkwana. We are God's own and work. Kwa sababu sisi ni kazi ya mekone ya mungu mwenyewe. So and work na ile kazi ya mikono. Eh, kazi ya mikono. Is workmanship. Ile kazi ya mikono yake mwenyewe. Now look at these guys recreated in Christ Jesus. Walioumbika ndani ya Kristo Yesu. No, re. Walioumbwa tena. 
which means after being born again baada ya kuzaliwa tena you are recreated umeumbika tena if you are born again can you say amen kama umezaliwa tena unaweza kusema amina they, they amplify and say born anew e, amplified hapa inasema kuzaliwa tena that we may do those good works ili tukaweze kufanya hizo kazi njema those good works hizo kazi njema the devil is a liar shetani ni mdanganyifu you shall never do bad things amtafanya kazi mbaya may you always do good things ni kila wakati mkafanye mambo mema which god predestined planned beforehand ambayo mungu alikuwa ameandaa hapo awali for us kwetu so it is like there there are works which are already predestined this time yani ni kama kuna kazi ambazo zilikuwa zimetengenezwa hapo awali and the chances are that if we are not in kingdom service na jambo ni kwamba kama hatupo katika utumishi wa Mungu we may never do them tunaweza kukoza kuzifanya you can only find them in serving god tunaweza kuzipata tu katika utumishi wa Mungu we are just from the national conference and the commissioning last night was go and serve Umekuwa katika kongamano la kitaifa na kule kupewa tume ni enendeni mkatumike. We were even anointed with oil to go and serve. Hata tulipakwa mafuta ili tuende tukatumike. Next year don't miss it. E, mwaka ujao usikose. So, there are some works. Kwa hivyo kunazo kazi. May men never take you away from those works. Na wanaume wasiwahi kukuondoa katika hizo kazi. Every demon taking away from achieving the works. Kila pepo ambao inakuondoa kutimiza ile kazi. We refuse its power in Jesus name. Tunakataa nguvu yake kwa jina la Yesu. So before and some good works have been prepared. Kwa hivyo hata hapo uh, uh, awali kazi ka, kuna kazi ambayo ilikuwa imeandaliwa kwetu. We send you to identify the works. Tunakutuma ili ukapate hiyo kazi. May God reveal the works. Bwana Mungu akaifunue ile kazi. Pastor Avia even is in Kitui do it. Mchungaji kama uh, ni kule Kitui ukaifanye. And some of you may go abroad to go and do it. Baadhi yenu unaweza kwenda ugaibuni ili muone mkaifanye. Ugaibuni ni wapi? Ni ngambo. On your ngambo. Mm -hmm. It, it sounds funny. <laughs> Ugaibuni <Basi uwe. laughs> the kamba people <laughs> may hear like it is in yeah, oh. uko. <laughs> Ugaibuni I think I need to check the kamusi. Eh. Unasema ni ngambo gaibu gaibu ni ngambo. Eh. This gentleman has things has some good works <laughs> which we are predestined <laughs> for him. <laughs> Thank you. Me, if I woke up and I was told in Alekeo Gaibuni, then I would have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like we moon in Kikamba, but anyway, uh, some of you do it there in Ugaibuni. Uko <laughs> ngambo. <laughs> Somebody say amen. Amen. Uh, and this is a serious matter. Na hili ni jambo la kumaanisha. We better if, even not do the other point. Ni afadhali hata tusifanye ile jambo lingine. But free that You know it is bad if there is a good thing set for me if I don't reach there it itakuwa mbaya. Unajua ni vibaya kama kuna kitu kizuri ambacho kimewekwa pale kwa niaba yangu wa makwangu na nikose kuifanya. And I am not believing. Na sasa ninaamini that even when our brother went to Kilife ya kwamba hata wakati ndugu yetu alipoenda kule Kilife he was going to do those works. Alikuwa anaenda kufanya hayo matendo. When they are over this year na yakiisha katika mwaka huu he will come back atarudi <laughs> because there are other good works elsewhere kwa sababu kuna matendo mengine mema mahali pengine i am now getting a revelation sasa ninapokea maufunuo when did you come all the way from mtwapa my brother <laughs> kwa nini ulitoka nje hiyo yote kutoka mtwapa there are some good things here kuna vitu vyema kuna kazi nyingi imagine they were prepared before na kufikiria kumbuka jua ya kwamba zilikuwa zimetengenezwa hapo awali you left kitui ulikatoka kitu went to mtwapa ukaenda mtwapa you met a jude there ukakutania na jude marie da ukamwoa then one day i saw you here during corona period na siku moja nikakuona hapa katika majira ya corona the work you are doing here was 
every design. Ile kazi unafanya hapa ili ubwa hapo awali. Amen. Amen. Look at where you are today. Angalia pale ulipo leo. And pray very hard. Na uombe kwa bidii sana. That no work which has been set before you. Ya kwamba hakuna kazi ambayo imewekwa mbele yako. Which you will fail to do. Ambayo utakosa kuifanya. May you do it in Jesus name. Ukaifanye kwa jina la Yesu. And it is in all your life. Na iko katika maisha yako yote. Somebody say amen. Mtu aseme amina. I met a friend of mine who got a rotary card. You, he went to American green card. Nikapata na rafiki yangu ambaye alipata green card alihamia uh, Marekani. A pastor. Na ni mchungaji. He told me nowadays I work in hospitals. Akaniambia siku hizi nafanya kazi katika mahospitali. What do you do in hospital? Unafanya nini katika mahospitali? He is now handling the old people in hospital. Sasa anawashughulikia wale watu wamezeka katika mahospitali. Who are about to die? Ambao wako karibu kwa uh, kwenda. Then I thought if that is what <laughs> they interpreted today as issues. Wako <laughs> karibu kwenda. If that is what was <laughs> predestined. Sasa kama hiyo ndio kazi ambayo ilikuwa imetengenezwa hapo awali. Let him do it. Waache ifanye. And see them go. Na waone wakienda. Any good work prepared for you. Kazi yoyote ambayo ni njema imeandaliwa kwako. I pray that you may do it. Ninaomba ili ukaifanye in the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. I even this amplification taking parts. Sasa kuhusika kuchukua uh, which he prepared ahead of time hata kuhusika katika eh, eh, ahead of time eh, hapo awali mapema wali. mapema, ya. mapema hmm? hali enough mapema kumbe nobody can stop you kumbe hakuna mtu wa kukuzuia even later in life when you are 78 years hata baadaye katika umri wako ukiwa na miaka prepared ahead of time ilikuwa imeandaliwa mapema sometimes you do things and you wonder what am i doing wakati mwingine unafanya mambo na unashangaa nafanya nini it was prepared ilikuwa imefanywa hapo mapema somebody say amen mtu aseme amina that we should walk in them ya kwamba tuwasaidi kuenenda ndani yake now look at the, the, the best thing here sasa angalia kile kitu chema living zaidi. the good life which he prearranged and made ready for us to live ukiishi uh, yale maisha mazuri ambayo yalitengenezwa hapo awali na ambaye amewaweka tayari ili tuyaishi I like this aspect of good life. Napenda hiki pengele cha maisha mazuri. That good life which he prearranged. Hayo maisha mazuri ambayo aliyatengeneza hapo awali ama mapema. How many people believe in what we have read here? Me I believe. Watu wangapi wanaamini kile ambacho tunasoma hapa? We are going to pray about this thing. Na tutaomba kuhusu jambo hili. You call yourself the and work of God. Utajiita mwenyewe kazi ya mikono ya Mungu. Born and new uliyezaliwa upya so that you may do the works that were predestined ili ukaweze kutufanya ile kazi ambayo ilitengenezwa hapo mapema before hand ambayo ilitengenezwa hapo awali and you also pray that you may take that path na uombe ili ukachukue hiyo njia that was prepared before ambayo iliandaliwa hapo mapema god don't allow anybody under my voice mungu usimruhusu yeyote ambaye uko chini ya sasa walk in the wrong atembee katika ile njia mbaya mzungu you are here for a purpose mzungu uko hapo kwa kusudi that is why you left the other place na hii ndio sababu ulitoka hapo pale pink some of you came here and you were wondering where am i going wengine wenu mlikuja hapa na mnakashangaa sasa ninaenda wapi you are walking on that path unatembea kwenye hiyo njia that was prepared before ambayo ilitengenezwa hapo mapema may god help you to walk in that path bwana mungu akusaidie ukatembee kwenye njia hii the rest of your life e maisha yako yote may no demon in this world na pasiwe na pepo katika dunia hii take you out of the path ikutoe katika njia somebody say amen mtu aseme amina na kama umeteleza may you come back to the path na kama umetoka kwenye njia hiyo ukarudi kwenye njia in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu so then we are praying this thing leo hii tunaombea vitu hivi to stay on path tukakae katika njia especially in kingdom service sana sana katika utumishi wa ufalme actually if we can succeed in kingdom service hakika kama tunaweza kufaulu katika utumishi wa ufalme i came to confirm nimekuja kudhibitisha elevation will not be a problem kuinuliwa hakutakuwa shida you will see yourself going up 
Utajiona mwenyewe ukipaa. Advancing the kingdom. Ukiendeleza ufalme. With your finances. Pamoja na pesa zako. When you get any money you tithe. Ukipata pesa zote unatoa zaka. You give your offerings. Unatoa sadaka zako. You serve God. Unamtumikia Mungu. You love other people. Unawapenda watu. You care for them. Unawajali. You think well of them. Unawafikiria vyema. You pray for them. Unawaombea. When I came here tonight, nilipokuja hapo jioni, I began to be led. Nilianza kuongozwa to pray for some people here. Niombee baadhi ya watu hapa. Actually I mentioned many people by name. Hakika niliwataja watu kwa majina yao hapa. Including all the pastors who came today. Pamoja na wachungaji wote ambao walikuwa. The one who is away together with the Hata pamoja na yule ambaye yuko kule katika nchi. I actually prayed for individuals here. Hakika niliombea watu binafsi hapa. Amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. Mtu sema amina. Especially when we were told to pray that people who may be seen sana sana katika tuliangizwa tuombee watu ili waponywe to be to be seen e waonekane e waonekane he waonekane modekai was seen modekai alionekana and we read the king could not sleep na tuliomba tuliona kwamba mfalme angelala until he compensated paka akamlipia modekai Modekai. May they never sleep. Wasiwai wasije wakala. Until they sort your issues. Paka wasumwishe mambo yako. Your issues are in the hands of God. Mambo yako yako katika mikono ya Mungu. Because you serve him. Kwa sababu unamtumikia. You sacrifice a lot to serve him. Unajitoa dhabihu ukamtumikia. There are things you stop. Kuna vitu ambavyo utakomesha. You come and serve him. Ili uje kumtumikia. And because of you. Na kwa sababu yako. I have a conviction. Niko na kuhusu family shall be delivered. Familia yako itakombolewa. Your children shall be delivered. Watoto wako watakombolewa. You shall recover what you lost. Wewe utapata tena kile ulikuwa. Because you are serving the Lord. Kwa sababu unamtumikia. When you serve him you cannot lose anything. Unapomtumikia huwezi kupoteza kitu. Actually the Lord comes on your side. Hakika Bwana anakuja kwa When the Lord is in your side. Wakati Bwana yuko pale. Who can be against you? Nani anaweza kuwa kinyume no chako? power of the enemy. Hakuna nguvu za No spirit of the enemy. Hakuna roho wa No power of indignation. Hakuna nguvu za No kushi. power of sorcery. Hakuna nguvu za uchawi. Can fight you. Zinaweza kutoa. God is on your side. Kwa sababu Mungu yuko upande wako. Raise on your two feet. Ina simama kwa miguu yako. Begin to commit yourself. Anza kujitoa mwenyewe. To serve this living God. Kumtumikia huyo Mungu na Sanjenda the first one. Weka agenda hii kwa ya kwanza. To serve him. Ya kumtumikia. Lord we recommit ourselves. Bwana tunajitolea tena. To advance the king. Kuendeleza ufalme. Wherever we are going to be. Popote ambapo tutakuwa. We shall advance the king. Tutaendeleza ufalme. We shall advance the king. Tutaendeleza ufalme. In the mighty name of the Lord. Kwa jina kuu la Bwana. Because it is one way. Kwa sababu ni njia moja. Getting elevated. Ya kupata kuinuliwa. In the mighty name of the Lord. Kwa jina kuu la Bwana. Return the verse where it was. Kudisha Mstari mahali ulikuwa Ephesians 2:10 amplify. Yesu mbili mstari wa 10 and to pray somebody. Anza kuomba mtu. Continue to pray so. Elea kuomba mtu. Declare that you are the handwork of God. Tangaza kwamba wewe ni kazi ya mikono yako. Workmanship of God. Kazi ya mikono ya Mungu. Father I got a revelation. Baba nikapata ufumo. I am your workman. Ya kwamba mimi ni kazi ya mikono. Hallelujah. You are workmanship. Wewe ni kazi ya mikono. Somebody again. Mtu so you are the workman of God. Sababu wewe ni kazi ya workmanship of God. Kazi ya mikono ya Mungu. He created you. Alikuumba. And hear the word of the Lord. Nasikia neno la Bwana. You were born anew. Ulizaliwa upya. Thank God for for bearing you anew. Nimshukuru Mungu kwa kukuzaa. Thank hey. you Jehovah God. Asante Jehovah Mungu. I have realized. Nimetambua. I am born anew. Nimezaliwa upya in Christ Jesus. Ndani ya Kristo Yesu. Somebody continue to thank you. Tuendelee na kumshukuru. And pray right now. Na uombe sasa hivi. You shall do the good work. Ya kwamba utafanya matendo mema. Father help the church. Baba saidia kanisa. Do the good work. Kufanya matendo mema. That we are plan and before hali ambayo ilipangishwa hapo awali to do the more god go viafanya ubaya ya yes your children tuko hapa kama we desire to do the good things tunatamani kufanya mambo mema desire to serve tunatamani kutulikia wherever you are put us so god wote umetuweka bwana help us to do the work tusaidie kuyatenda kazi it's not by any mistake sio kupitia kwa kosa ya for a purpose tuko hapa kwa kusudia tuko hapa kwa kusudia in this church for a purpose tuko kwa kanisa hili
Wanaitwa leo online worshipers. Leo watamazingi watu wa Wako pale walizozo. Kwa sababu ya kusema somebody in the house. Saidia mtu katika nyumba. Accomplish the purpose. Kusimiza kusubiri. They are. Popote walipo. In the mighty name of the Lord. Kwa jina kuu la Bwana. To do the good works. Kufanya yale matendo pia. Either to may do the good works. Omba ili ukaweza kufanya yale matendo pia. That is good. Kila kitu ambacho ni chema. Pray about it. Kiombe. Pray about it. Kiombe. Everything that is good. Kila kitu ambacho ni chema about it tonight. Kiombe jioni ya leo. The name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. It is a will of God. Ni mapenzi ya Mungu. To do the good things. Ya kwanza utatende mambo. Ninakutenganisha. Bad work. Kutengukofana mambo mabaya. Matendo mabaya. Connect. Na ninakuunganisha. Good things. Kwa matendo mema. And the works. Na kazi which we are prepared. Basi leo tutengeneza. Now make a prayer. Sasa oh that you are going to walk. Ili ukatembee in the path katika njia kwenye njia that was predestined bayo ilitengenezwa hapo bayo iliandaliwa hapo mafunzo we pray baba tunao let everybody under my voice kwamba kila mtu aliye chini asikia atatembea on the path katika njia which was prepared for them bayo iliandaliwa hapo which was prepared for them iliandaliwa hapo the mighty name of the lord kwa jina kuu la bwana pray for your children tembea watoto wako they may walk in that path ili wakaweze kutembea kwenye njia hiyo supposed to be blessed they are not supposed to fail the blessing shall not be delayed in the name of Jesus pray for your brothers pray for your sisters to come back to the path and reach a path any power railing them from the path we speak a restoration in the name of Jesus should there be any brother who is coming out of the way we declare they are coming back we claim the backsliders who have come out of the path we pray for your family members who are outside the way let them come back to the way we claim every backslider associated with us we claim them now name of Jesus. We are not going to lose them. We are not going to lose them. They shall be found on the path that was prepared beforehand that was set beforehand help us to see the way help us to see the way and to walk in the way and to say in the way together with our families in the name of Jesus nobody is going to come out of the way nobody is going to leave the way they shall stay in the way they shall walk in the path nobody associated with us is coming out church let us clear the backsliders let us not allow anybody to come from the path Mtu yeyote asitoke nyingine tunawaitisha every backslider kila aliyerudia calling them tunawaita back to the path warudi kwenye njia in the name of Jesus na kila nguvu za hao we are breaking it now tunaivunja sasa mighty name of the lord jina kuu la bwana they shall stand they shall be on the path watakaa katika they will be blessed watabarikiwa and walk in the path na watembee kwenye njia finally pray ya mwisho omba that this life ili maisha haya is going to be a good life yatakuwa maisha mazuri the good life wakiishi maisha mazuri we refuse bad life tunakataa maisha mabaya it is not our portion it is not the portion of the women it is not the portion of the men Father we pray tonight that our life is going to be good somebody make a prayer for a good life a good life that was prearranged and made ready for us to live we refuse bad life we refuse poverty we refuse 
refuse a life of sickness. You refuse disappointment. You refuse frustration. Created by the enemy. In the name of Jesus. I surround everybody. With good life. In the name of Jesus. I want to fight. Every bad life. Every bad life. We fight tonight. Every life of fear. Every life of witchcraft. We fight every demon. That makes us. To live a bad life. The church will live a good life. The church will live a good life. In the name of Jesus. Good life was prepared. Good life was prepared. For us to live it. We refuse it. Bad life. Life of frustration. Life of defeat. Life of backsliding. We refuse it today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We break it today. In Jesus name. We shall not live a bad life. Bad life is not our portion. Life is not our portion. It is not the portion of our families. It is not the portion of our children. It is not the portion of our parents. It is not the portion of our brothers. And our sisters. I pray for everybody. Under my voice. They shall not live a bad life. They shall not live a bad life. They shall not die prematurely. They shall not live a bad life. In the name of Jesus, we refuse every disappointment. In the name of Jesus, every kind of disappointment shall not be our portion. In the mighty name of the Lord, finally declare elevation. Elevation is our portion. is our portion. We pray Jehovah God that the principles of elevation are going to work in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we shall be elevated. We shall be connected to the right people. In the mighty name of the Lord, disconnect yourself from every liar. Disconnect yourself. Disconnect yourself from every con man. From people who cheat you. He refuse to connect. To every bad idea and the bad, bad people who will destroy our future in the place Jesus. of Jesus. Somebody pray. Refuse mistakes. Refuse mistakes. He shall not be people of mistakes in life. I refuse every mistake. Every mistake. I shall not make a mistake. I will do the right things. Somebody pray that you don't make a mistake. That you don't make a mistake. That you don't make a mistake. Thou spirit of mistake. I hear the spirit telling me. We fight the spirit of mistakes. To begin in a row, Fight it now. Begin in a spirit of mistakes. You are not our portion. We you refuse your operation. In our lives. In the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord, to do the right thing. To do the right thing. We shall not live a life of doing mistakes, of making mistakes, spirit of error, spirit of error, making the wrong decisions. We find your power in the name of Jesus. We shall not make wrong decisions. We shall not connect wrongly because we have a path prepared for us to walk in it to live a good life in the name of Jesus. I refuse to walk in mistakes. Mistakes are not our portion. Spirit of regret. Everybody bind now. The spirit of regret. The spirit of regret. Regret shall not be our portion. We shall not regret because we serve God. 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 We 
he shall never regret hatutawai he shall never regret hatutawai because we are not making mistakes sababu hatufanyi makosa in the mighty name of the lord jina kula bwana father we thank you baba tunakushukuru father we thank you baba tunakushukuru father we thank you baba tunakushukuru and we honor your name na tunaliheshimu jina lako everybody saidia kila mtu and my voice chini ya sauti yangu to be a servant akawa mtumishi in the kingdom katika ufalme in the kingdom katika ufalme there are two spirits church kuna maroho mbili kanisa that have been defeated today bali wameshindwa jioni ya leo the spirit of mistakes roho wa kufanya makosa i had in my spirit nikahisi ndani ya roho that it has been defeated ya kwamba ameshindwa you shall not make a wrong decision utafanya maamuzi ya makosa kutoka leo whatever your pen is writing chochote kalamu yako ina na kina you shall not make a mistake wewe hautafanya makosa you shall not write the wrong thing utaandika vile vitu and you shall do what you are supposed to do na utafanya vile unashaili kufanya sometimes the devil comes to hide wakati mwingine shetani anakuja kujificha what you are supposed to do kile ambacho unashaili kufanya and you don't do it na hukifanyi hear the word of the lord sikia sauti ya neno la bwana come to walk in the path that was prepared for you wewe utatembea kwenye njia ambayo ilitengenezwa kwa in the name of the lord jina kuu la bwana number 2 you shall not do any ya pili hutafanya chochote and begin to regret na uanze kujuta spirit of regret roho majuto you are under our feet uko chini ya miguu yetu in the mighty name of the lord kwa jina kuu la bwana no body under my voice hakuna mtu chini ya sauti yangu to live and regret ataishi katika I matito separate you today na kutenganisha you the life of regret kwa maisha ya majuto in the mighty name of the lord kwa jina kuu la bwana it shall not be your portion kuwa sehemu yako it is broken tonight it is destroyed tonight it may be what you are children shall not live in mistake watoto wako wataishi katika makosa they shall not make wrong decisions hawatafanya maamuzi ya makosa shall not live a life of regret wataishi maisha ya majuto even when you shall not be there hata wakati ambapo hutakuwa they are going to walk in the path that was prepared for them a path of doing the good things watatembea kwenye ile njia ambayo iliandaliwa wao njia ya mambo mazuri kwa jina la Yesu says the lord of hivyo asema bwana wa mwao in jesus name we pray kwa jina la Yesu tumeo celebrate jesus shangilieni Yesu celebrate like you are free shangilia kama huyu like you are delivered shangilia kama umekondolewa like you are reborn again shangilieni kama umezaliwa This is a house. You are born again people. Ya watu ambao wamezaliwa tena like you are born again. Shangiliane kama umezaliwa. We give you glory. Tunakupatia utukufu. Tunakupa utukufu. Thank you God. Asante Mungu. May God bless you. Bwana Mungu awabariki. Take your offering. Chukua sadaka yako. And connect with that word. Na unganike na neno hilo. Kingdom service is the way to go. Utumishi wa ufalme ndio njia ya kwenda. Leading to serious elevation. E naongoza kuingia katika kuinuliwa kumaanisha in our lives katika maisha yetu we are connecting to that grace tunaunganika kwa neema hiyo in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu those who are far away can send their offering wale ambao mko mbali mnaweza kutuma sadaka zenu with the numbers running on the screen kupitia kwa nambari ambazo iko katika screen zenu and god is going to bless us naye mungu atawabariki lift it up Inue. Father in Jesus name. Baba kwa jina la Yesu. We thank you for blessing us. Tunakushukuru kwa baraka. We are connecting to kingdom service. Tunaunganika kwa utumishi wa kifalme. That all the benefits of serving the Lord. Ya kwamba faida zote za kutumikia Bwana to be our portion. Zitafanyika sehemu yetu. Cause yet. this one to happen to everybody. Bodisha hii katendeke kwa kila mmoja. Who is connecting with this offering? Baba anaunganika kwa sadaka. May your name be glorified. Jina lako likatukuzwe. And your name be honored. Na jina lako liheshimiwe. Jesus name we pray. Kwa jina la Yesu tumeomba. Amen. 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 You can bring your offering here. Naweza kuleta sadaka zenu hapa. This hapu. coming Friday. Ijumaa ijayo. We are going to do a service during the day. Tutafanya ibada yetu siku ya mchana saa ya mchana. Good Friday. Ikiwa Good Friday yetu. So between uh, 10 and 12 noon. 
Kwa hivyo kati ya saa 4 asubuhi mpaka saa sita za dhuhuri. Our service is going to be during the day. Baada yetu itakuwa wakati wa mchana. In the evening you can unite with your family. Jioni unaweza kuunganika na watu wa jamii yako. To celebrate your holiday. Kushangilia holiday yako. And Sunday service Resurrection Sunday na Jumapili itakuwa Jumapili ya ufufuo we shall be there tutakuwepo may god bless you na Mungu awabariki online look, online viewers god bless you watazamaji wetu wa mitandao bwana Mungu awabariki